Hello and welcome to today's important discussion on preventing diabetic kidney disease. Did you know that almost 80% of people with diabetes don't know that they have diabetic kidney disease? Well, I break the news to them every day and they're like, what? I have kidney disease? Well, duh, I'm sorry. But yeah, you did for the last five years. Nobody tells them and there's a reason for it. A lot of doctors don't have anything to offer because the only thing they can do is refer to a kidney doctor a couple of years before dialysis. That's not how I operate. You have to know and you have to prevent. Prevention is the best way to deal with these things. The Western medicine is designed to fix problems after it is broken. Well, what about preventing it, right? That's all I'm about. When you live with diabetes, God, you have so many issues that can hit you. And diabetic kidney disease is going to be one of the number one, the most important thing you need to understand and try to prevent in your lifetime. As you know, the high blood sugar levels damage the kidneys over time. It affects your kidneys ability to filter the waste from blood. It is a very serious complication, but the right management strategies, it is easy to actually prevent it. Now, we're going to talk about the nutritional, holistic ways, but also medical ways as well. I'm not going to talk about medications necessarily, but there are certain pillars that you have to pay attention to and most people don't. The number one thing is keeping the blood sugar levels under control and the blood pressure and the cholesterol under control. Now, not every cholesterol I'm talking about, I'm talking about the bad cholesterol. Now, at least A1C less than seven, if possible less than six, is what we strive for. If you get it down to five, great, no problem with that, right? But the lower the blood sugar, the better. What is A1C? I mean, I have so many videos on this. I'm not gonna detail on this, but as you know, A1C is the last two to three months blood sugar average in general. And if you wanna know more, just type sugar MD and A1C on YouTube, search, and you will find a lot of videos. But that's a key marker for most people. Sometimes it's not correct, but for most people it is. Blood pressure management. Now, we want to keep the blood pressure less than 130 over 80 at all times. You know, people come to the office and their blood pressure is 200. I'm like, why? They're like, oh, well, when I come to the doctor, my blood pressure goes up. Well, mine doesn't. <laughs> so, I mean, it should not go to 200. I understand if it is like 130 normally and at the doctor's office is 140. I get that. 200, I don't get it. So, you need to really go back home, measure your blood pressure at home. If you're less than 130 over 80, with that reliable blood pressure monitor, you're good. Now, otherwise, the high blood pressure will put as much strain on your kidneys as high blood sugar. So don't risk it. Now, LDL cholesterol, like I said, is very important to keep it below 100 milligram per deciliter for optimal heart and kidney health. Men should bring their HDL levels up to 50 that's the good cholesterol women up to 60. so cholesterol is not always bad for you right there's good cholesterol there's bad cholesterol now you also need to support your kidneys with vitamins and probiotics which a lot of people don't even know about very important it's not just supplementary they are integral to maintaining a good kidney health specific vitamins that are actually tailored for kidney support are there so if you're specifically concerned about your kidneys, we'll talk about those in a second, but let's talk about probiotics first. Probiotics help maintain a balanced gut microbiome, the bacteria, which is linked to better overall health, overall for everybody, but especially for diabetics. It is often overlooked, especially for kidney health. It is very strategic move to use those probiotics because when you use these Beneficial bacteria found in fermented foods like yogurt, kefir, and some other things can play a huge role in your kidney health. Now, the gut microbiome balance is crucial and it actually impacts your blood sugar levels and will reduce the inflammation throughout your body. Why? Well, because probiotics help support the digestive system reducing the production of harmful toxins that leak into your blood vessels and to your system that finally goes to kidneys, which poor kidneys, they have to filter them out, right? And then what happens? Well, during that process, your kidneys 
get the damage. So when you have more probiotics, good bacteria, good microbiome, if you want to be scientific, will reduce that workload on your kidneys, preserving the function over time. And the research suggests that the probiotics may actually help manage your blood sugar levels and reduce the inflammation and indirectly protecting your kidneys from damage caused by high blood sugar levels and some other inflammatory factors. Therefore, incorporating the probiotics into your diet is simple, but very effective strategy for supporting your kidney health in the context of diabetes management. Now, there are some other vitamins which you already probably know of, alpha lipoic acid, benfotiamine. There are some B vitamins like B2, B5, B6, B12, vitamin D, folic acid, biotin. These are more like kidney specific. And for the probiotics that are kidney specific are bifidobacterium, lactis, or lactobacillum plantarum, and saccharomyces. So they play, especially as three, a crucial role in supporting your kidney health. It helps your kidneys stay protected, but also helps your body's natural repair processes, which is very important. Vitamins like vitamin C or the B-complex vitamins, they also reduce the oxidative stress. Oxidative stress is the inflammation that is banging, hitting on those cells in your kidneys. We call them nephrons. Again, remember, probiotics contribute to balanced gut microbiome, which is linked to improve overall health. Now, to find out more about supplements, if you are not sure that you can get everything that I'm talking about in your diet, go to sugarmds.com. We offer a lot of holistic things now. We offer kidney support, including all these vitamins and probiotics. You don't have to buy from us. You can go buy from somewhere cheap and, uh, you know, cheat your health. But <laughs> I'm just kidding. Some people just think that we are more expensive than some unknown brand in Amazon. But, you know, you know what happens when you buy cheap. But uh, anyhow, I still want you to be aware that these supplements are available and just pay attention to the labels and find out where the company is based on and how reputable they are wherever you're buying from here are some actionable steps for you at the end of the day for your healthy kidneys you have to have healthy eating number one right that's actionable steps get on your fruits and vegetables lean proteins cut down on sodium again you know, sodium raises the blood pressure, and the blood pressure will lead to damage. Carbohydrates, too much of it will increase your blood sugar levels, so cut back because they cause oxidative damage. Exercise, at least 150 minutes of moderate aerobic activity per week. It could be walking, swimming, cycling, even sitting exercise. Why? Because exercise will help with the blood pressure, blood sugar, cholesterol, all three at the same time. And visit your doctor every three months. Check your kidney function. See where you're at. Because most of the time, if you don't ask, sometimes they don't tell. And if you don't look, you won't see. If you don't get checked, you won't know. Hydration, important. But don't intoxicate yourself with water. Some people come with a very low sodium levels. And the reason for that is sodium in the blood is too low because they overdo it you know yes hydration is important but if your pee looks like water that means you're drinking way too much and if it is looking very yellow then you're not drinking enough water smoking alcohol if you smoke i guess you are done with this life and you just want you're ready to go same thing with alcohol what's the point you're diabetic right let's just get over those things and let's protect our kidneys Here's final things for you. Diabetic kidney disease is preventable with some intentional steps that you can take today to protect your kidneys tomorrow. By managing your blood sugar levels, blood pressure, your cholesterol, taking the enough vitamins and probiotics, adopting a healthier lifestyle with some exercise, you will feel great, you will reduce your risk of kidney disease, which actually leads to heart attacks and stroke even if you did not end up with dialysis. Another bonus point for you. But remember, you're not alone in this journey. I'm here for you to help you with what I can, but also seeing your doctor, getting regular medical care is also very important. Go to sugarmds.com, subscribe to our newsletters, get our free books. We have a diet book that's for free. We have a comprehensive diabetes book that explains all the ins and outs of diabetes. 
we take care of the cost we give these for free so take advantage of it educate yourself knowledge is the power stay powerful my friends i'll see you next time hey guys i hope you are enjoying this channel so far and i hope you subscribed already uh, it, if you didn't do it and if you did watch this video right there i think that will help you too